Hey, so I've never used Xcode to make any applications before ever. I found there to be a lot of scarce resources for uh, becoming familiar for newbies about how to use Xcode to produce uh, executables or command line tools. I'm not even familiar with whether this is a common direction to use Xcode for, but I thought I would illustrate how I discovered how to locate the executable that can be run on the command line, like you see here in this example GitHub project. So I'm going to use this example GitHub project to illustrate for you exactly how it is that I managed to locate the build artifact that is executable from the command line um, that is produced by an Xcode project. So let's get started by cloning this to a directory on disk. So if we go into camwatch, I believe if you just open from your command line an Xcode project, it'll open in an Xcode, assuming you have Xcode installed. So you'll see that this has an unsupported Swift version. Um, this is a little bit older of a project. It looks like it was last edited in 2017. So I believe if we go ahead and try to just build the project, we get a build failed. If we go look at the reasons, Swift version is not supported. So there's actually apparently a really easy way to handle this type of error that I wasn't familiar with here. But if we update to recommended settings, this will automatically convert the Swift code in this project, which is really just a single file into Swift 4, Swift 5 compliant, whichever is the version of Swift we're upgrading to. There's all these other warnings about localization. Uh, we can just accept them. But in short, uh, if we try rebuilding the project now, this build is still failed. Let's check that. Might be in here. Build settings. Here we go. So let's go to Swift 4. Let's try building again. Cool. Uh, the error is away. Just a warning. Conversion to Swift 5 is available. Let's convert it to Swift 5. Okay, now we're on Swift 5. It's Apple B is what I'm pressing. Alternatively, I think you can go to product build for running. Uh, or you can just click here to accomplish the same thing. Um, that should produce log outputs, which we're seeing down here at the bottom. So this basic program literally is just printing out all of the uh, webcams that are mounted on your system and showing you whether they're off or on. And so I only have one webcam. I'm on my iMac. And you can see that's on because we're recording myself. So in sum, what we want to locate is how do we run this command, which we just ran from within Xcode, on the terminal. And assuming there's some file that's produced, a build artifact from Xcode, is that, a, is that something that maybe we could upload to the internet and share with others? So what I discovered is that, of course, you can go to your terminal and you can say sudo find root dash name and search for the name of our file. But I'll show you a little bit, and that searches our whole file system, both uh, you know our hard disk and also even mounted hard disks, which I wouldn't expect Xcode to write to. What I discovered is that if you go to project settings under file in your system tray, you'll see that there's this default location. And this is actually the directory into which the executable that's being produced from our code is being written to. So you can see that this, this git project we've cloned is just the single Swift file and it produces an executable. And the directory it gets it produced to is nested in under this directory. So if we just display everything that's in this directory, you can see there's a lot here, but it's really under drive data build, uh, cam watch build, uh, intermediates. I think it produces in either directory. But you can see here is a executable. So if we want to run the executable from our command line, we can run it like this. And you can see that 
the output is a little bit more uh, concise. It doesn't have these debug log statements that you see when you run this program from within Xcode. But uh, the other thing that is of note is that you can configure under project settings a different directory instead of this one. Um, so if we go and we change this to custom location, let's say we want to put it in my scratch directory. Now, if we Apple B to build, you'll see that there's no cache that's using build description in your memory. It's building quite a bit slower. It probably will only do that once. Um, but now if we go to our terminal and we CD into our, my scratch directory in LS, you can see now there's a camwatch directory. And if we LS the camwatch directory and look at the build directory, look at products, look at debug, there's our executable. And so similarly, let's try running it. Cool, it prints it out. So I'm not familiar with whether this executable is something that will work on all Mac architectures that you might upload this file to Dropbox and share the link with friends who have MacBooks or iMacs, but uh, at least we're able to locate the executable in a way we're getting closer to having a distributable uh, Mac application from the command line as opposed to a user interface. So as to why you might want to do that, I'll leave that to yourself to decide, but uh, I'm hoping this demo was helpful. Thanks.